Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Break Talos Principle 2, the only series where we're not afraid to revisit the scene of the crime. Uh, 12 scenes, I mean, of countless crimes of the puzzle variety. So we're here outside the megastructure, about to enter it for the uh, fourth time, I think, uh, to save Byron. Afterward, we're going to be solving all 12 gold puzzles before heading into the final section of the game. And uh, I've got something special planned for that, but I'll get into that once we're done with the megastructure. So let's uh, go ahead and get all this out of the way here. Let's go. You're coming along this time? Yep. Well, what about protocol? Screw protocol. It's Byron. You must free him. Do as he says. He cannot free himself. We went through a lot of trouble to get this guy out of his chains. Now it's his turn to help. What's happening? The power of this machine. The depth of her grief. Come on, follow me. I have to show you something. Here, listen. If I give them the machine... Do you see what's happening? If I convince them of its power... It's her. It's all her. Everything we're seeing is Athena. Her every hope. We could finally build the world Alexandra imagined. Her every fear. What if selfishness and stupidity win out again? What if they act like children and burn the planet? I never thought she might feel confused. No, what can I do? Uncertain. There has to be a way of making sure it's the right choice. She needs us. There has to be an answer. There are no answers, creature of play. We have to wake her up. It can't just be a leap of faith. The system is still stabilizing. Maybe we'd better get out. Come on. No! I cannot allow this. You have suffered a grievous injury, my child. Your companions have not forgotten you. And it is through the bonds that you have forged that you will be saved. living. It's been several weeks. A lot has changed. People decided they wanted change. They wanted the ideals of Athena, not the founder. But the story's not over yet. You're going back, aren't you? We are. We can't leave Athena trapped. you're here, Melville. I wish Alcatraz and Yakut could come too, but they believe what they believe. We don't need a theory of everything to be happy. It was never just about happiness, Al. I just think people are too flawed. We've made too many mistakes. I want to explore. I want to build. I want to live. Monkey, you're in charge now. If you want to explore, make sure we didn't miss anything out there, go ahead. When you're ready, let us know, and we'll head into the megastructure. All right, and here we are back at base camp. And before we jump into the gold puzzles, there's just a couple things I want to go over real quick. Uh, number one, so this game has a little quirk to it where every time you enter one of the main puzzle areas... There's uh, actually two different kinds of like times of day that it can be in each one, and each time you visit it, it just uses the next one. So I think it'd be kind of cool when I do the gold puzzles here. Uh, I'll be doing each area in the opposite like time of day lighting situation uh, that we've seen so far in the series. I think that'd just be kind of cool. Um, second of all, I would like to introduce you to something that I like to call the Wheel of Crime. 
So on this wheel, you can see 12 different types of exploits. Uh, I have, of course, used many more than just the 12 types, but obviously I can only do 12 here. Uh, each gold puzzle corresponds to one of these exploit types, and we'll be giving the wheel a spin before each puzzle to determine which one will be next. So uh, let's jump right into it and spin this wheel for the first time here. And looks like our first one will be Driller Exploit. All right, let's see. Driller Exploit. I'm kidding. I don't use paper for any of this. Anyway, this is one of the um, rarer things that we've done. I think we've only used it in two spots. Uh, we did one in North 3-3, where we stood inside of a hole to reach over the wall to grab something. And then uh, in South 2-6, we did something really weird with a grav beam aligned with a hole, uh, which caused the hole to be, like, outside of the wall, and that let us kind of walk through it. Um, so let's go ahead and go to East 2, Lonely Heights, where we will uh, exploit driller holes for the final time. I'll meet you there. All right, so here we are in East 2. Um, we just need to make our way to the golden puzzle now, which is uh, right there. Okay. I uh, haven't had to walk to one of these physically in quite a long time, so I'll meet you over there. All right, and here we are in Lonely Heights. Uh, so this one is kind of just as much a fan exploit as it is a driller exploit. Um, but it was really hard to come up with 12 completely unique uh, glitches for these puzzles, so cut me some slack. So what we're going to have to do here is uh, take this box and we're going to put it in this fan stream while we're in the fan stream itself. And uh, jump up on top of it and get onto that pillar right there. Almost. Oops. There we go. And then we just jump over to this wall here, and over the barrier. And with that one done, let's give the wheel another spin here to see which one is next. Looks like it's going to be Fan Exploit. Uh, so this one's a little bit more common than Driller Exploits. Uh, this is just whenever we do something illegal with a fan. Uh, usually ends up either being uh, putting a box inside the fan right as we go into it, which... Uh, glitches us out with the uh, collision and like launches us way up into the air. Uh, or sometimes I'll put a box, just like we did in this puzzle here, um, kind of drop a box into a fan stream and then jump onto it for some interesting momentum. Uh, but either way, our next destination is going to be North 1 Vantage Point, where we will once again use a fan in a uh, manner not recommended by its warning label, let's say. All right, so let's head over there. Alright, and this one I actually do remember where it is, because uh, if you remember, we actually went into this one when we solved this area. It's going to be right over here on top of this hill. Alright, now that we're in here, um, first we're going to need to get that box out, so we're going to take control of this guy here. Launch him over to the other side. We're just going to run in here and grab this box. And then, it doesn't really matter which one we use here. So what we want to do here is to put this box... Um, our eventual goal is to get up on top of this wall right here. And uh, the way I'm going to do it here is by dropping a box. It's really complicated, and this is why I was kind of dreading this one. Um, we have to drop the box on top of the wall as we're flying over it, but the box has to be kind of at an angle. So that next time we launch off the fan, we will bounce off the box at an angle and land on the wall. So it's easier to uh, show it than to explain it. So here we go. Ooh, that was really close. Bear with me. This is probably going to take a lot of fast forwarding to get.
Okay, I think I've uh, successfully gotten it up on top of the wall there. Hopefully. Now the next step is to actually collide with it and land on the wall. Oop. Ooh, I definitely had it right there. All right, that actually was pretty easy compared to uh, testing. All right, so now that we're on top of here, we just need to grab this box and use it to get up onto that wall over there. Just like that. And we are just gonna parkour our way all the way to the end. We're gonna go up there and then we're gonna jump up on top of this, on top of here. No, no. All right, let me reset it. That might work. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Let's try not to screw this up this time. Okay, I think I just need to land on that little bit right there. Ooh, don't, don't screw up. Don't screw up. Let's try jumping over to this one. Yeah, I don't know if that's bad or not. I think we can still maybe save this. We jump over to this one. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Figured it out. It's actually not the same route that I took my... Well, unfortunately. No, I can still grab that. That's fine. Just like that. Okay, so I'd want to be directly between south and east, which is going to be that line right there when I place it. No, that's not going to work. Even though this map, or this uh, puzzle seems aligned to the map, when I point this way, it seems way off. Oh, it's because my camera is angry. Yeah, okay. That's why. Let me center my camera. That's actually going to help a lot. Oh, that's better. That should be perfect. All right, I swear I'm not gonna screw it up this time. <laughs> well, that was the worst I've ever screwed that up. Yep, there we go. Quick, no, the box started falling. Yeah. All right, keep the box steady this time. Darn it. All right, that looks good. Nope. Okay. Hopefully our last time doing this. There's that jump, and then we've got the diagonal jump here. Can we walk? Yeah, we can walk right on that. Um, let's do that. That's good. There we go. All right. Please be the last time I do this. Beautiful. Okay. Let's uh, angle it a little further away from the wall, maybe. I think I keep hitting that corner there and screwing myself up. Oh my. All right. Let's angle this a little bit further away from the wall. Maybe that's uh, what keeps screwing us up. Okay. We got that jump down. And that jump down. Can I land right here? Ooh, don't do that. No. So from here, let's try jumping to that one there. Not like that. Ooh. Oh, you know what? If I can just get on top of this right here, I can easily get on top of the wall. Or on top of the door and then jump over. Okay. New solution found. Let's uh, rock this. Wow, I'm getting really good with that now. All right, nope. Jump the corner. Okay, so we just need to get down on top of here is all. Yeah, now we need to jump around the corner here. Yep. No, no, that little corner screwed me up. And then let's jump down. Oop, almost missed it. Right there. Okay. 
And we need to jump up on top of this without hitting the corner there. Can we move out just a little bit? Yes, okay. Oh, that was not something I was expecting. Okay, jump more to the right there. Got it. Jump onto the door. Now we jump over to the right side of the door. Awesome. Okay. We're really close now. Yep. All right. Oh, we're so close. We're so close. I think I can jump on this little ledge here. Yes, I can. Yes, there we go. All right, that one is finally done. Whew. All right, let's give our spin a, or a wheel a spin here again for our third puzzle. All right, swap table climbing. Uh, this is another very rare one. I think we've only used this one in two puzzles. Um, usually it just means placing a box on top of a swap table and uh, that will let you kind of jump off of the swap table, kind of similar to putting a uh, box on top of the pedestal like this. So um, let's uh, go to North 3, the Rearranger, and we'll use it one final time in this game. And I'll meet you there, guys, as soon as I can get out of this puzzle. Alright, let's just head on down to the gold puzzle that I have already forgotten the name of for some reason. The Rearranger. Yes, I remembered that. So uh, this is going to be a pretty simple solve. Um, honestly, compared to the last uh, puzzle, everything's going to be simple. So we're just going to grab this and swap it for the inverter here, and then use that to open the red gate up ahead. This is where we will find our second box. And then we'll just swap something for the other box, and then we're going to make our little staircase here on the swap tables. So there's one, and then we can jump up on that with here, and there we go. Alright, let's go ahead and spin the wheel to see what's next. Looks like it's going to be anti-grav parkour. Alright, so I love anti-grav panels. Uh, pretty much every time I see one in the puzzle, uh... It's pretty much guaranteed that there's going to be some fun way to jump off of it and uh, do what you're not supposed to do. And uh, we did this mostly in South 2 since that was where it was introduced. And uh, it's only fitting then that our next puzzle is going to be in South 2. It's called Outside the Box. So uh, I'll meet you there. All right, and here we are once again in South 2, and man, it looks really depressing here compared to the last time with uh, how sunny it was. And once again, I have no idea where the puzzle is. Looks like it's in this direction. Oh yeah, I forgot we uh, never did that bridge our first time through here. All right, I'll meet you over at the uh, puzzle. All right, so once again, there are very few steps to this solve. All we got to do is run in here, grab this box, put it on this wall right up um, kind of at the end here like that. Jump onto it and then wait till we get this little uh, jump prompt. That's kind of in a really weird spot on this wall. It might take a few attempts in rearranging this box around here. That's kind of what we're looking for, but we need it up in here. Alright, here we go. I seem to have uh, cracked the code. I don't know what I did differently. But now, let's see if it'll work just jumping to here. And it certainly does. And there we go. Simple as that. 
All right, let's go ahead and bring up the Wheel of Crimes one more time. Give her a big fat spin. Next one is going to be parkour outside. All right, uh, this is definitely one of the more common ones. Uh, this is basically just any time you jump into a puzzle from outside and land either like on the ceiling or roof somewhere or directly into the ending uh, room. And the one we're going to be doing with this one is South One, Pillars of Ascension. We're going to do a little bit of mountain climbing, so uh, give me a minute to get over there and I'll be right back with you. Alright, let's make our way to puzzle number seven, actually, because that's going to be the uh, jumping off point of this little mountain climbing adventure we're going to go on. And we're just going to repeat that trick that we did when we were here the first time to climb over the ladder with the boxes stacked in front of it. Which is going to put us on top of the boxes, which allows us to jump onto the wall, which allows us to jump outside the puzzle. We're going to run all the way around here, and we're going to land on that little pile of rocks right down there. Just like that. Next step is we're going to jump around just to the right to land between those rocks. Uh, not like that. Definitely not like that. Alright, give me one second. Alright, let's give this one more attempt here. Let's give this two more attempts, I guess. Okay, third time's the charm. Yeah, there we go. And then from here, we're just gonna jump kinda crosswise up to this spot, and then onto this pile. We're gonna jump all the way around to this little uh, outcropping. And we're just gonna kinda jump right around this little corner and get up on that little spot there. This is probably the hardest part right here. And just a little bit of luck. That happens, apparently. Oh, that wasn't so hard, was it? Second last step is just jump right down over here. And then last thing we have to do is just run all the way over to the golden puzzle. And there we go, we didn't even have to enter the puzzle. And it's all solved. Alright, let's get that wheel up again. Our next crime will be... Photo mode. So uh, I did avoid photo mode as much as I could, uh, mostly because you really could just cheese any level um, using photo mode by just photo jumping up over the final gate or wall or whatever. Um, but there are some interesting things that we did in it, or with it, in uh, South 3. Funnily enough, we've done all three South uh, areas in a row now. Uh, but anyway, Thrust Vector is going to be our next target, which is in South 3. So give me a couple minutes to get out of here, and I will meet you there. And now that we're back in South 3 in all of its horribly laggy glory, let's uh, go this way here to the gold puzzle. Alright, so first thing we gotta do is just connect uh, the blue, where's it at, down there, to open the end gate. There we go. And then we're gonna jump over here, use this ladder to get up. We're going to kind of like a Yoshi flutter jump type of thing to get across this gap here with a series of strategic inputs. And 
Nope. A little too low. Let's try that one more time. Yeah, there we go. That was a good one. Alright, that was a really quick one. So let's give the wheel another spin here. And number seven is going to be outsmarting. Uh, so this is always my favorite type of uh, exploit to pull off. It's fairly rare that I get to just straight up outsmart a puzzle without having to rely on any glitches or anything like that. Uh, but we've done it a few times. And we're going to do it one more time here in West 1. The puzzle is called The Mule. So uh, let's get over there. Hey, this episode is taking absolutely forever to edit, and it's going to end up being really long, so I'm going to break it into two parts, and we will tackle the next six puzzles in the next episode. Peace. And if we jump down, there's no way back up here to grab them. But that's fine, because all we need is three. And then we're going to put one of them right here on the edge. And we're going to bring two up onto that roof up there. Oh. 